Uh, hi, I'm Jaren Sim. So today I'll start off my presentation uh, with a short introduction to my art gallery, Nova Art Gallery. So this project uh, aims to design the building that resists formality, like, uh, and also to blend in with the surrounding context, with the idea of not having uh, art gallery as a like a professional use, but as a space as a platform that binds a uh, community together through a much more approachable design uh, and art. So the intentions behind my design is to uh, to foster the local community of all ages with an optimistic and open spatial experience and uh, to provide like artworks that treats uh, that binds both uh, past histories and the future insight for the young generation and not just as a functional space but also to raise awareness to pollutions and rubbish uh, lastly is to like resist formality by blending in with the blue green elements of our site then moving on to the spaces and program for my reading is where uh, I divided into three core spaces, the former, the informal and the exhibition spaces. Uh, for instance, the exhibition spaces, uh, uh, we have like origami paper art, uh, the modern and traditional art or the mum uh, tribe Nipa leaf art uh, and kind of interactive light installations or uh, basically to mainly to introduce the paper art as the core exhibition art for my gallery like a much more approachable art for everyone then only i move on to the case studies uh, on both the facade and space planning where I, on the tectonic facade i studied on this uh, exhibition center of shima in china where they focus on interpreting the traditional culture and art in a modern way like during the day the building appears in as a like a modern architectural appearance with like translucent glass uh, blending appear to be blending into the site, the land and the waterscape. Then after the nightfall, it brightly lights up, uh, overall showcasing the LED digital screen across the building facade. Whereas uh, for the space planning case studies, is what I pick. What I pick up from here is how the spaces of the gallery are uh, act as a whole that provides the locus, uh, like and like the building as a important cultural landmark that celebrates the work of a renowned Japanese artist and how their spaces are designed in a way that allows the museums to adapt to its immediate context uh, such as through the openings or circulations or approach to the building then moving on to our site, uh, Banting so uh, to implement those studies uh, I did for my case studies into my own design this will be the 15,000 square meter uh, of our whole site where we have a like, plot A, B and C so my chosen plot is B in the middle where I propose to have my art gallery uh, and plot C will, will be the green park I propose to have to complement with the existing uh, walkway and on plot A is the entrance to the gallery and uh, how my special planning fits into the 15,000 site is uh, also to consider the site analysis such as the town demography, the vegetations, the views, the noise source the accessibility and some path. And for the site response, uh, first is the vehicular circulations that will there be like a uh, four approach to our site one, two, three, and four. So there will be like two vehicular uh, entrance one and two. So this one is actually from the shop lots, the main entrance, and the another alternate entrance from the highway, which is mainly for the employees or the OKUs. So another approach uh, is where the users will go through this uh, proposed landscape park at Plot C and also the uh, ex uh, extended taking platform all across along the riverside. So the noise sources uh, at the site are mostly from the highway uh, and the local hotspots. Lah. And for views and special zoning, I'll go through it later in details in my plans. Then moving into my uh, 3000 square meter site, where on the ground floor plan, this will be like the main entrance for the gallery where the users will reach the foyer that function like as a gathering area or event space during a certain day. So there will be like uh, both leaves and uh, staircase that leads to the first floor from the foyer over here. Uh, next to it will be like the cultural art showroom. Like what I shown earlier, uh, this space will exhibit arts like the red pepper cutting, the marmary tribe art and so on. So moving down to the informal spaces on my gallery is the souvenir shops and the workshops that links together uh, that sell small artworks, uh, local mat, like local mat art collections, uh, origami papers and so on. 
uh, moving down along this corridor is will be the cafe with the folding open door towards the reverse sides of our site and in between this gallery is actually this uh, this kind of semi-open courtyard that act as a transitional space where the users can access to this uh, modern art showroom or the isolated uh, library tower located right at the corner over here so the former spaces are also linked uh, to the corridor over here like the management office over here and the surrounds and the washrooms the office uh, the management office is purposely located here for the convenience of the employees so that they can reach in from their parking lots easier uh, going through the spiral staircase or the lift the first floor will to the first floor will reach here the temporary exhibition space and also a space like where people gather around uh, during certain events going on and this will be like uh, an another origami art exhibition room with openings uh, to the double volume cafe downstairs at ground floor uh, so moving going on to the east side of the gallery is the where the users will pass through this suspended glass bridge to, uh, towards the interactive corridor over here and lastly will be like uh, the observation tower where the users get to have like a wide view of the Langa river and the landscape area from the tower and for the elevations of the art gallery is actually where i implement the idea from the case study uh, the exhibition center of shimao by having this kind of double functional facade where it will be like uh, reflective during the day uh, and to cater my intentions of actually blending into the site surrounding and during the night it will be like a digital facade and also this kind of reflective aluminum panels uh, cladded elevations that helps to further highlight my design intentions this too is the section cut of the gallery spaces for instance like the section a will be uh, cutting through the double volume foyer and then the origami showcase room and the cafe over here whereas on the section b is uh, from the left this will be also be cutting through the cafe and the upper floor is the openings for the showcase room and the souvenir shop at the bottom at the courtyard in the middle and on the first floor this will be the interactive corridor leading towards the observation tower slash the, the library at the corner over there from the exterior of my art gallery is uh, this six perspective is where i shows various views from my different approach such as when the users uh, are at the, at the parking lots or walking through the existing walkway or through the uh, proposed plot c park and in this uh, explore the isometric plans is where i pinpoint out my interior perspective locations in my art gallery like the first one will be going across the light uh, interactive kind of corridor the second will be the mezzanine view of the office and the library uh, views towards the langa river and the park and on the other side uh, is where we have the foyer perspective at the entrance the cafe facing langa river and the temporary exhibition space above the foyer and also the glass bridge uh, connecting the two blocks of my building and lastly the observation tower the form development of my building begins with the uh, intentions of having like main spaces like the former, the informal and the transitional spaces so these three course, uh, core spaces are formed uh, the former and the informal spaces are further segregated on the west and the east side uh, to make way for the loading bay and the washrooms so with uh, this part the third one with this part being uh, situated at the serene and kind of strategic views part of our site and observation tower slash the library is extruded upwards to propose it to be over there and the ground floor is further uh, elevated to create more exhibition spaces and the entrance to the gallery is created like the main entrance of the gallery is at the drop off area and the courtyard acting as like the alternate entrance in the middle and the courtyard in a covilinear covilin motion going across is uh, intended to enhance the transitional space between the entrance and the riverside area opposite and also bringing in the glass bridge uh, lodge in between the building that connects circulations from two blocks then moving into the constructing of the interior volume by creating like kind of various volume of spaces like the double volume the void spaces or the different ceiling height and the openings from all sides of the gallery are actually created for users circulation different kind of food structure are implemented uh, into this curved carved space with 
a kind of concrete corporate ceiling with translucent panels where it's uh, intended to modulate and filters kind of filters daylight into these spaces while also having this kind of a uh, curvy space frame structure with glass layer across this courtyard lastly would be the implementations of uh, my interactive uh, and reflective facade as the outer layer of the overall building formula so lastly uh, this drawing is the section details of my gallery like from roof to foundation to showcase the overall construction connections uh, such as the concrete corporate ceiling the aluminum cladded wall uh, the translucent ceiling panels and floor finish and so on and that uh, would be it for my presentation thank you